We are blessed as a community that our dedicated employees have been able to deliver the services we have been accustomed to receiving. To continue these operations in a lean and mean mode, we are now facing other problems. I have heard from both Parks and Recreations and DPW that there are times when their crews are overwhelmed. There were days during the lease season we had no crews out because of lack of labor resources. We have heard from our Parks and Recreation. They have found themselves short-staffed and had great difficulty in trying to accomplish the necessary functions of their departments. This comes from their own reports. The mean part of running lean and mean in our township will start to show its ugly head. We have all, from time to time in our lives, experienced the negative effects of being overwhelmed. It adds stress to our lives, and it affects our physical and mental abilities. Most of us know how to step, step it up to get it done, but in short time, our effectiveness lessens because we are all human and we feel those effects. The effects are cumulative, and tasks generally take longer than normal to accomplish. Translates into more overtime. Without a doubt, we are short-staffed in these hard economic times. Our financial condition requires we find a way to deliver services for less cost. We cannot continue on this current path of providing services we deliver with fewer employees unless we find more efficient ways to perform. Unification is a way I believe we can accomplish this goal. We have had recent success in changing the way we deploy our forces in the sanitation division by improving our frequency curbside garbage pickup to twice a week to the savings in Saturday overtime. An example of change that afforded us better service, less physical stress as the tonnage our employees have to sling into the back of a garbage truck is spread out over two pickups and overall cost savings by reducing overtime. For all of us, it was a win-win. So why not explore other services we deliver in broader terms like over two departments? I believe if we combine our forces to have a larger pool of labor, it will help solve our needs when there is a surge in the need for labor to complete tasks and objectives we have. It is reasonable thinking that when, we, uh, that when you have time-sensitive jobs, you can effectively manage and complete those jobs with larger crews. I'm aware you can only put so many bodies in a given area before your effectiveness for employee diminishes. So to be clear, this is not a proposal where we have one small bathroom we need to paint, paint and we're going to put everybody in the same room. It does work in the township of Hanover. We have a large and spread out work areas. For example, things that we can do. For, uh, for example, we, when opening day arrives, our sports fields, you can count on rain preceding the event. It always seems to happen. On rain days, crews can be redeployed to many other tasks of a larger department that we'll have in their planning. When the weather clears, a larger force will be available to deploy to get the fields ready. When leaf season arrives, and with careful and central planning, we can deploy a larger force to efficiently and effectively get the leaves picked up and off the streets. We'll have available a larger pool of labor resources when we execute larger projects. We can create dedicated landscape maintenance crews for all township lawns, parks, and fields. We can consolidate equipment and tools along with future purchases, and carefully plan the deployment of them so they are ready and the crews ready to work. We can consolidate our maintenance, utilize, uh, we consolidate our maintenance needs utilizing our two qualified and well-trained mechanics freeing up labor resources. When emergency repairs occur, more resources are needed. We can pull those qualified from a larger force. We can reorganize our DPW facility and remove the equipment currently stored in the parking area of the recreation parking lot. We can pass on spending, thousands in planning, every time the idea surfaces for a new dedicated maintenance facility for parks and recreation. In the long run, we can save by cost avoidance in the millions. I could go on and on of the many advantages of a larger labor force would produce. Yes, it would involve planning and good communication. And at the same time, we recognize the special skills and talents of our employees. Some have expressed the need to, uh, for cross-training as a negative impact. I maintain it's a positive one that will help us deliver better services. Not everyone needs to be cross-trained in every task. We would need to cross-train enough crews to make sure there is coverage for all services we need to deliver. A management decision made on an ongoing basis as we move forward to assure we have adequate human resources when employees with unique skills and ability are not available for work. 
injuries, or whatever reason. If we wish to continue on a business as usual approach, then I believe we will have to reach in our pockets as taxpayers and hire back some of the crews we lost from attrition, as well, inc as, well as increasing our overtime to get the jobs done. Reading the reports generated from this process, we have learned that we need to reduce the shifting with parks and maintenance crews, which will increase overtime costs. We have had a request to hire back some employees we lost in the DPW to maintain our level of service. The requests are reasonable based on the department head's experiences from the past year and their abilities to assess the requirements to deliver services to us. I am reasonably sure that we cannot continue on our current path of not hiring back crews we lose through attrition without some type of change in our direction. Labor is not the only approach to cost savings. This year we have made a com uh, commitment as a committee to continue to explore new technology to reduce the amount of labor we need to deliver certain services. Parks and Recreation is budgeted to acquire a new machine to dress and sweep certain parts of our field, <coughs> a process we are told will reduce some of the labor and time necessary to get fields ready for play. The DPW is budgeted to purchase a new garbage truck that can pick up a special garbage cans by an operator from within the cab. The new, this new truck has the potential to free up two employees to be deployed elsewhere in the field. Cost savings, better work product or service, better safety. Again, it's a win-win for all of us. We need to keep looking forward on ways to reduce costs as our economy continues its current path. I'm saddened that so much misinformation on this process has spread throughout our community. And I'm very aware that change has an effect on some of us in our emotions, including our employees. With that, I'd like to turn the microphone over to Committee for Mosca um, to outline some of the learning and the discussions we had and bring some kind of conclusion to this process. Uh, thanks, Mr. Schleifer. Um, to underscore what Mr. Schleifer began with, um, the financial situation is in this township is broken. We and we can't afford to just sit by and watch it happen. We're down forty-five million dollars. That is significant because what that means to us is that $45 million gap is a function of lost rateables. The lost rateables need to be picked up by people like yourselves who are residents of this community. So what are we doing about it? Many things are underway. However, in regard to the subject at hand this evening, the specificity of this is this is a major area of opportunity because of the sheer amount of dollars that are at stake. Um, what has been done up until now is, number one, there was a special study. There was a study that was conducted last year. And what that study did was it brought back information as to what adjoining towns do and how they operate. And clearly, one of the trends that came out of that study is that there is definitely a, a uh, directional change in terms of the alignment of parks. Parks are being uh, unified more and more with DPW. Financial analysis has quantified um, the financial opportunity um, that the township can obtain by consolidation. So the concept, the concept at hand, and what we're working with, and I'm going to underscore the word concept. Concept is an idea. It is initiation. It is not a finalization. It is not a done deal. So the concept which we're beginning with is called a unified department a unified department that features five distinct service areas. Each service area based upon functional expertise. Each functional service area being led by management, a division head that has accountability and responsibility for the services. So the goal here is no degradation of services. The concept plan calls for five service divisions, a building and grounds division, a roads division, a sanitation division, a parks division, and a recreation division. 